Welcome back guys, this is the Photo Event 1431 and we're getting right back into Marvel Spider-Man um, I don't remember what mission I'm on but of course it's nighttime as you can see I love my yellow hair suit but I am going to change the suit again this time I like to tell you guys the facts of, you know when this specific Spider-Man was made. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Uh, oh, it's MJ. Like the, the specifics of the powers of the person, just depending on what happens. I see like Ghost Spider. That's an interesting one. Um, I don't remember which Earth this one was from, but I know that um, Ben did not die, and he was helping Spider-Man, you know, be Spider-Man. Well, he figured out that he could basically make his power better and greater by consuming other Peters from different worlds. Well, long story short, Earth-616 Spider-Man came to that Earth. And they were trying to take his power, and he convinced Peter to do differently, and uh, and it ended up consuming um, Ben, if I was remember correctly, and it killed Spider-Man, and he went to hell, and Mephisto basically made a deal with him. Hey, you can go back. But you're gonna have to go back as um, this, and it was basically a Ghost Rider mixed with Peter Parker, Spider-Man. But we're gonna do something different. Um, you know what? Let's do the Stark suit. <coughs> Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. <laughs> wow, Peter. Uh, you are ridiculous sometimes. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Sorry if you're hearing noises in the background. It is my two new kittens. Uh, one's is Hicks and Hudson. If you're a big fan of aliens, you'll know exactly who they are. But they are some jittery fuckers. Hicks is mine, and Hudson is my mom's. And if you, again, Mr. Are Lee's fans, usually in his office now. Hudson usually says the famous line, Game over, man. I it's game over. <laughs> last well. uh, I love it. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. This one. Better and homelessness is down, but still problem. way too high. Good thing my buddy oh. Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. Flash Thompson? What? There's always something. Oh my god, I never noticed that. Huh. Where's Mr. Lee? Just sitting there doing nothing. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? 
A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? He seems so genuine. But we all know he's not. Hey! The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. You can probably hear well, my cat. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Sorry about that. Well, fuckers just got so much energy and it's like midnight. Oh look, it's day. Like, what are you doing, man? You're just sitting in it? What the hell? And cats are weird. I love them, but they're weird. I don't know. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. Dangerous. Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't, don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I... I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself no. when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Officers needed to assist trap. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Lisa, do you do much better? Okay, my cat just jumped right on top of me. <laughs> 
Fashion hold up. Vintage crime stopping right there. <laughs> it is. It is vintage crime stopping. I love it. his grant taken away by a Norman Osborne, which, yeah, the grant committee, yeah, yeah, it sucks. Alrighty, let's do this real quick, save this, this will be a part one, and I'll do a part two. How does it work? Part two, Just right? like a natural arm. Oh, wait, no, you think yeah, of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now. This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Thank you. <clears throat> Easy. 
Easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter. There's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Yeah, that's where the sadness comes in. Hey, buddy. You're on my back. What are you doing? <laughs> you want attention? You got it, buddy. Come here. Alrighty, guys. This is part one. Thank you for watching. I wish I could and do something to help subscribe. Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Wow, Peter. Cut me off twice now, huh? Well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, this is Devoted Band 1431. Please like and subscribe and comment down in the comment section if you have any advice or anything. Um, trying to push my uh, content more, trying to get more viewers. Just doing my best. Um, Hurricane Ian really messed up my life situation, so just trying to do better and make it in places that I can. So, please support in any way you can, guys. I appreciate it. See you in part two.